Hello everybody, welcome to EMC Tutorials, I'm Jaime Trujillo and today we're gonna learn how to get perfect skin tones in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's roll the intro. I know that color correcting skin tones is one of the most important but trickiest processes when it comes down to professional video editing. I find myself really struggling trying to tweak here and there, trying to find the perfect skin tone. Sometimes I spend hours and hours and hours trying to get the result I wanted. Some other time I snide it right away. But finally, I came up with a solution that will help you get the skin tones right in no time. If you really want to know how to do it, let's get into this. Alright guys, we are now in Adobe Premiere Pro and we have our footage ready in place to be color corrected. If you can notice, this footage was created in a professional studio and this was for a real client. And um, the idea behind this is to uh, color correct our skin tones. If you can notice, the footage is a raw footage. Uh, probably it was recorded in a log profile, so the, the colors in general looks a little bit off and a little bit uh, dull and undersaturated. And also we have some problems or we have some opportunities to improve um, the, the overall quality of the image. So without further ado, let's go and color correct our footage. So first of all, let's start setting up our color creation environment. And to do that, let's go to window and select the Lumetri scopes. If you have it activated already, let's find it over here. And also, if you don't have any information in here, let's move uh, our video a little bit further so the information will appear right away. And uh, also, we need to check if you have uh, the waveform activated. Let's make sure that we only have this for now. And if you don't have the RGB uh, waveform, let's uh, select this uh, over here. Also, let's make sure that you are under uh, REC 709, which is the broadcast standard that we are working on. So you might wonder why this scope is for and why it's important to have it there. So the quick answer is uh, with this, you will be able to monitor in real time the light and the color of your color correction process. So for example here, let's uh, analyze this image so it uh, looks a little bit washed out. And if you can uh, check the values over here, they are a little bit far away from the zero level, which are the blacks. And over here we have the whites, and we actually have this red color overpassing the 100 mark, which is actually a legal, a, a legal value that you cannot do, and we need to try to fix this. So to do that, let's uh, move our corpse, and let's go and just drag this a little bit to the right. So we will have our uh, black tones closer to the zero level. So you can notice that you start gaining um, some contrast over here. And now let's start like uh, getting these values under the 100 levels. So let's get this a little bit down so it won't overpass the 100 mark. Now, uh, we have this pretty uh, spread out, which is uh, good. Uh, however, we need to start uh, also adding a little bit of contrast. So let's add one node here and one other uh, point here. And let's uh, start dragging down the black levels. And also let's start like uh, pulling up the mid tones and high tones. Okay, that's a good start. However, it looks very, very yellow. It looks like a Simpson. Uh, now let's start color correcting the color temperature. So for that, there are two options. If you do it manually and uh, by eye, or you select something that is very uh, neutral in the image. We can uh, color select this and it will adjust the white balance of the uh, image. However, it doesn't look as good yet. So uh, let's get, uh, let's start tweaking a little bit this. So let's, uh, by eye, let's start like uh, tweaking this, pulling this to the right a little bit more red so it won't look that uh, yellowish and a little bit colder. And also when you do this, try to increase the values of the saturation so you will uh, gain more colors uh, in your video. Now let's adjust the highlights. Let's uh, bring them uh, down a little bit. And uh, also let's bring the temperature a little bit down because it still looks yellowish. 
Now we are, we're seeing that we are recovering the natural colors than before. So let's check how it was before and how it is now. So we have a huge improvement. However, it doesn't look as good yet. Uh, let's continue uh, getting this temperature a little bit down. Let's uh, increase in the Let's increase a little bit the saturation. We start noticing his blue eyes that we actually couldn't tell that much before. And uh, But now I see this very contrasty and we actually are underpassing the zero level. Let's uh, bring those blacks a little bit up. Uh, let's go to the corpse because probably we are crushing it from here. Let's adjust this a little bit. Uh, that's good. And now uh, let's adjust a little bit the uh, tint so we'll get more uh, the normal skin tones. Let's uh, reduce a little bit the saturation. Uh, that is looking better. And also let's increase the whites so it won't be that uh, down. Okay, so uh, this is okay for now. However, we need to double check how the skin tones are. Uh, right now it looks uh, okay to me. The skin, uh, the shirt doesn't look as good because it looks like bluish. So probably we need to play a little bit with this. Okay, that's, that's even better. But now let's go and get our second tool, which is the Vectroscope YUV. And uh, why is this and what, how does it work? So um, it tells you uh, where the color is pretty much. For example, the green is actually between this uh, cyan over here and this green over here. So it's uh, uh, kind of like uh, towards this one, but it's not actually in uh, that position. We have like uh, all the different colors. For example, probably this is uh, about the shirt and uh, we have all the colors and this is probably where the skin tone is. And uh, this is very important. This line over here, it's uh, called the skin tones line. So if we go and select uh, and actually mask out a little part of uh, his skin, let's uh, do this on his forehead and let's get back to the color tab. You will see that the information or the color information we have, it's uh, a little bit off from the line, but it's kind of uh, like close to this line. So it tells you that you are pretty right. So if you move uh, your tint, you will shift that color uh, either to the magentas or to the yellow or green. That's why you start like seeing that information over here. So you can you can tell like that looks green and in here looks like it's uh, towards the green and towards the yellow. But if you move it that way, you will go uh, very pink. So we will go a little bit to the uh, reds and also to the magentas. So uh, the idea is to have this very, very, very centered or very close to the skin tone line. So with that, you will make sure that your uh, skin tones are in the right position. Another thing is if you move your temperature, you will just increase the, uh, uh, the length of that information. And uh, always you have to double check how is it looking. And uh, for doing that, let's get this mask uh, deleted. So right now it looks very saturated to me. And let's go back to the corridors. Let's uh, just a little bit the saturation. So it's, it goes a little bit down. And let's add a little bit more of temperature to uh, the uh, video. So right now it's looking even better. Uh, let's again check our uh, skin tones. Let's make a mask over here and let's go to the color tab to check how it is looking. Okay, that's that's good. Now uh, the other step is to convert the waveform into the Luma. So like that we will see how good we are in terms of light and the skin tones. So right here we uh, see that our skin tones are from 70 to about uh, 85, 87 probably. But um, the idea is to have our skin tones under, always under 80%. So the uh, skin tones are under 
80 CRI always. So that's that means that we are uh, overpassing that limit and we will need to adjust maybe the exposure of that. And uh, let's place it between that and uh, let's remove that mask. Let's go back to the effects and uh, let's delete that mask. And now uh, it's looking uh, even more natural. And let's go back to the color uh, section and uh, let's check if everything is fine. Uh, I will add a little bit more of uh, shadows or increase uh, the level of the shadows and uh, just uh, adjust a little bit uh, the temperature to less warm and uh, also increase a little bit the saturation just by a tad. Okay, so let's uh, check. Uh, this was before and this is now. Please let me know what you think on the comments and if you have any questions also please write them down. I'll be answering as much as I can and uh, that's it. There we go. Hope you guys find this tutorial useful and if you really like our content please click on the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. For now thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.